We now turn to an exceptional story unfolding in France where architecture meets the matchstick artistry like you've never seen before. We show you how a man's dream and dedication have been bringing the iconic Eiffel Tower to life as a miniature masterpiece unlike anything you've seen before. In a town in France, Richard Plaud, a 47-year-old council worker, is creating history by building an Eiffel Tower one matchstick at a time. But why matchsticks, you ask? And why the Eiffel Tower specifically? Well, building models with matchsticks is a form of art that requires extreme precision and a lot of patience. Each piece must be carefully cut, glued and placed demanding hours of focused attention. The Eiffel Tower, with its intricate latticework and distinct shape, poses a unique challenge. It's not just about replicating a structure, but also about capturing its essence in miniature form. This makes Plod's endeavor not just a test of skill and endurance, but a labor of love and artistic expression. Plod is no ordinary craftsman and the scale of his plans is ambitious to say the least. His goal is to build the world's tallest, tallest matchstick model of the Eiffel Tower. This replica, if and when completed, will stand at an impressive 7.20 meters high. Now let's imagine for a moment, in Plod's family living room, amid everyday life, standing this partially complete structure. It's over two meters high at the moment, almost brushing the ceiling. This is not just a hobby for Plod, it's a passion. Over the past eight years, he has meticulously glued together 800,000 matchsticks, amounting to 33 kilometers in length. This represents 4,000 hours of work, which is truly a testament to his dedication. But what makes his creation unique is not just its size, it's the detail and the craftsmanship that goes in. Plod had to revisit trigonometry in order to construct the tower's legs with their precise inclination. He even joked about this in a local media report, that he really needed Pythagoras. But behind this humor lies a story of complex calculations. And what's even more fascinating is that this matchstick tower is fully removable, modeled after a giant Meccano set. Each piece is a marvel of miniature engineering inspired by a 1.20 meter model. Plod multiplied its dimensions by six in order to achieve his grand scale. Designing over 400 different, different pieces, the journey of assembling this masterpiece started with simple matches from a local supermarket. A tedious process that soon led Plod to a wholesaler and now he receives matches without flammable parts, making the process slightly less laborious. But he does not have to cut off the matchstick heads. This weekend, the tower's lower part will meet its other segments, which are currently housed upstairs. The final assembly will be performed where his eldest son, Arthur, will be by his side. This Herculean task is more than just about building a model. It's about securing a place in the Guinea's Book of World Records. He aims to break the current record of 6.54 meters, which has been held by a Lebanese artist since the year 2009. But with his family's unconditional support, especially from his wife, Sandra, Plod's dream is close to becoming a reality. And to those who may mock his unusual hobby, Plod laughs it off and embraces the quirks of his journey, finding joy in every matchstick he glues. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.